Princess Diana called her wedding day the worst day of her life. Why? Princess Diana was one of the most beloved and iconic figures of the 20th century, but behind her dazzling smile and glamorous image, she hid a deep sadness and a troubled marriage. In a new documentary on Netflix, Diana, in her own words, we hear the late princess herself reveal some of the shocking details of her relationship with Prince Charles and why she described her wedding day as the worst day of my life. The Secret Tapes The documentary is based on a series of audio recordings that Diana made in 1991 for her biography, Diana, Her True Story, written by Andrew Morton. The tapes were recorded by a friend of Diana, who passed them on to Morton without revealing her identity. The author only admitted that Diana was his source after her tragic death in 1997. In the tapes, Diana speaks candidly and emotionally about her life in the royal family her struggles with bulimia and depression, and her suspicions and confrontations with Camilla Parker Bowles, the woman who would later become Charles' second wife. The doubts before the wedding. One of the most shocking revelations in the documentary is that Diana had serious doubts about marrying Charles even before their fairy tale wedding at St. Paul's Cathedral on July 29, 1981. The wedding was watched by an estimated 750 million people around the world. But for Diana, it was the worst day of my life. She said that she discovered a bracelet that Charles had engraved for Camilla with their initials shortly before their engagement. She confronted him about it, but he dismissed it as a harmless gift from a friend. She also said that she overheard him talking to Camilla on the phone the night before their wedding, saying I love you. She confided in her sisters about her fears, but they told her that it was too late to back out. Your face is on the tea towels so you're too late to chicken out, they said, according to Diana. The Unhappy Honeymoon The documentary also reveals that Diana's honeymoon with Charles was far from romantic. She said that they had a huge role when she saw him wearing a pair of cufflinks that Camilla had given him, with two C's entwined. She also said that he ignored her for most of the time and preferred to read or paint. She said that she felt lonely and isolated, and that she started to develop bulimia as a way of coping with her stress and low self-esteem. She said that she felt like she was a lamb to the slaughter and that she had no one to talk to or support her. The Aftermath The documentary shows how Diana gradually found her voice and confidence as a public figure and a humanitarian, despite the constant media scrutiny and the breakdown of her marriage. She said that she realized that she had to adapt to her role as a princess and stop fighting it. She also said that she wanted to use her fame and influence for good causes, such as raising awareness about AIDS, landmines, and homelessness. She also spoke about how she tried to be a good mother to her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, and how she wanted them to have a normal childhood as much as possible. She said that she hoped that they would grow up to be compassionate and caring people who would make a difference in the world. The documentary ends with Diana's tragic death in a car crash in Paris on August 31, 1997, which shocked and saddened millions of people around the world. She was only 36 years old. Diana, in her own words, is a powerful and poignant portrait of a woman who was loved by many but understood by few. It gives us a glimpse into her inner thoughts and feelings, and shows us why she remains an inspiration for generations to come.